At Graco, we have a myriad of zombie-killing appliances at your disposal for even the most discerning zombie slayer. Perhaps a nice pistol, or a shotgun, or some C4, or a 100-round M249, or one of the current American favorites, dual-wielding rocket launchers. Dual-wielding rocket launchers is efficient and extremely fun for every American involved. Make sure to purchase your dual rocket launchers today. Buy two rocket launchers now and we'll throw in this free shotgun. All right, we're back with the greatest sadness and depression of zombie apocalypse simulator the world has ever seen. It's under development. People were saying, I was asking what the favorite weapon is. The, uh, the minigun is one of them, as is the bladed thing. Also high up on the list was, uh, crippling depression. Crippling depression, very good. That makes sense, I guess, for the zombie apocalypse. But for us, there is greatness ahead. People wanted me to build some more defenses. I'm just gonna start buying up the defenses. Our issue is this. Let me show you our research tree. I have decided to go straight up into the flamethrower because it sounds amazing. Over here is where all the defenses are. We don't have any. Well, we have some, but they suck. So we need to buy more. In order to do that, we have to kill zombies for the government. So let us go forth and do so. Also, someone asked, since the minigun spins, can you put blades on it and have the blades spin? That's amazing. Let's check that out, actually. How ridiculous can you get? We're about to find out. All right. Well, so far, so good. Let's get an extra nail in there. All right. So... Fire axe is on. A little blade on the other side, like it's no big deal. There we go. Oh yeah. Oh, it, it fits. It fits beautifully. Uh, well, only one nail for that one, but I'm sure it'll be okay. All right. So grab it. Here we go. Oh, it doesn't spin. I'm not gonna lie. If you if if that had worked and this legitimately spinned. it would have been amazing. The only other thing I could think of is if like you nailed it right to the barrel. Now, I thought maybe if the barrel moved, it would move this. All right, I shoved it right in the front. It didn't work. We got to try our flamethrower anyway. We also got to start getting better defenses. I want to see if I can make a funnel for the flamethrower so we can have like Kentucky Fried Zombies. We haven't been back at the old home in a long time. We've been doing the new home in the forest. So you know what? This is where it all started. Don't care. This is where it all started with this single gat right there. This is a really, really pale grenade. Were the grenades always so pale? I'm also kind of curious. What is this? It, are, are, is this actually a zombie apocalypse? Is the government really doing anything? Or are they just making us do all the work? Because it seems like they really don't help. They just kind of send you more weaponry as if to say, you pretty much have this covered, so we really don't need to do much. Maltov, back to the base with you. Uh-oh. Hmm. The 249. Everyone was saying this was the uh, the M249. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. You're right. I play a, I play a lot of like PUBG Mobile because I'm weird like that. That just fall like right over my shoulder. It did. And uh, yeah, now I look like now that I look at it, looks appropriate. You got your tree chopper over here. So what you need to do is you need to you need to beat them trees. I don't think that these trees are destructible. I just thought about that. That didn't turn out as good as I had hoped. Um, I was hoping to get some delicious tree wood as opposed to the non-monetization wood. Uh, it didn't work out for me. Mm. Double bear traps, eh? This is the beginning, right over here. This is the beginning of the, uh, the Blade Master 38,000 or whatever. I feel like we could probably use this for some sort of decent, I don't know, rampart system or something. I'm just not totally sure what I want to do with it yet. Oh, look, here's the thing we didn't find all last game. Where the hell have you been? Double barrel shotguns are going out of style. I don't want you. I want, I guess, rounds. That's fine, because I don't think that we had any shotgun rounds. So, yeah, I'm kind of happy to find that. Here's a gigantic piece of wood. Possibly the most widest and thickest piece of wood that we have seen yet. We're going to have the double, uh, the double M249s down pretty quick. I'm going to tell you that. We already got two of those. Still looking for my flamethrower. Really want the flamethrower. Bunch of people said that the flamethrower may very well end up being their favorite weapon. I've never used it yet, so I'm very curious. I don't know how you get more ammo for it either. What is this a skeleton of? That head looks a lot bigger than the zombie heads that we deal with. Like, a lot bigger. I can't believe that that is the same species of zombie that we're typically having to kill. Oh, yeah. 
This is where uh, this is where you get all your anger out. Big fan. Actually, let me put that over there. Put you over there. Put you over here. Time to go destroy all this. Wife never liked this bedroom set anyway. Uh. Y'all ever heard of the tunnel of love? This is the tunnel of depression. This is what we got. It's got a little column. So all the zombies can kind of file it. Now, I think that the zombies are just going to end up, like, attacking that crap. But if not, it's fine. It'll hold them there for a little while. What else do I want to put out here? We got a whole slew of these. All right. It's a starting setup. We'll be fine. A little bit high for a zombie head, but I think it'll still hit. Been a while since I used the snipey rifle. I forgot how good these are. Once you get later into the game and there's like 12,000 zombies coming at you, it becomes a little bit more difficult to take the time to aim up. But in the beginning here... When they're all moving super slow, Gray still misses with the greatest of friggin' ease. There we go. I'll pretend that that was, that was what really happened. I got him, guys. We did it. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Yeah. Nobody loves you, zombie. Just kidding. Apparently someone loves you because they had me miss just now. There we go. Now some heads are... <laughs> Woo! The one game where you can, like... Take a quick spin around, look behind you, and suddenly there's a torso flying through the air. Yep. Delicious zombie chunks. It's low sugar. High in protein. I think. Possibly also, it'll give you, like, diarrhea and cancer. Can cancerrhea. He got through the defenses. Never mind. Hey, you scumbag zombies, cough up any loot? Oh, a rifle. It's not good enough for me, but I'll go ahead and vacuum cleaner it. There's the drop. What's inside of it? Oh, it's like opening up a birthday present. Except instead of, like, toys or gift cards, we get weapons of destruction that we can use to slowly thwart the end of the world. I haven't used pistols in a while. Thought I'd give them a little run through. Don't let the beer- <laughs> I was gonna say, don't you dare let that beer keg get crushed, but, uh, well. I'm not gonna save the bullet. I'm gonna blow the heads up. Oh, yeah. See, the funnel doesn't really work. They just kind of stop and start hitting my crap on the outside, you vicious scumbag pieces of garbage. Oh, here we go. Looks like we have some contenders. No problem. We're gonna do the procession head explosions. Oh. That guy's got a thingy on his head. Yep, just line right up, everyone. Line right up. I would really appreciate that. Whoa! Hi. Okay. Some extra... What is... What? How did... What is this? Did a hammer fall on top of our... It did. A hammer fell on top of our knife. Okay. Oh! Holy crap. I wasn't expecting anyone there. This game is really good on having the zombies sneak up on you, and then the next thing you know, you're literally... They're like in your grill. Suck on my guts. That's how you do it. What happened up here? It's like a freaking door going out of business sale. I've never seen this many doors. Just kind of, I don't know what, I don't know if I can call them doors or planks or whatever, but I've never seen that many just like looming over there. Things should start getting a little bit more spicy. So we're gonna need this. Oh, we got a breach. Woo. Let's pop some heads. There we go. Oh, the heads are like falling to pieces. I don't know if that's new or what. It's, it's almost, I feel like they didn't used to fly quite, oh quite so grievously, but they are now. Woo, Lord! <laughs> that was glorious. Fan fantastic. Excellent. I see everyone. I see all the zombies have spat out all sorts of delicious goods. Just what I always wanted. This rifle's pretty good. Tell you what. We're doing all right right over here. I've kind of uh, just got myself in this corner. I really want to get the flamethrower. So I'm probably going to have this be our last round. We'll spend some points and stuff like that. And then we'll see if we can uh, if we can go ahead and get it. Ready? Saw through them. There we go. Holy crap. Yeah, this thing's got some penetration to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know what I mean. Like, like the, the non, that's what your mom said kind of penetration. Get on through them heads. Look at that. Oh, we just had all the Molotovs explode inside the house. That's freaking awesome. I'm kind of glad I kept one grenade. Here we go. Blow! Thank you. Okay. We haven't found the flamethrower yet. So I'm going to check it out here. Just to see.
Okay, the flamethrower is amazing. We need to find this thing. We're going to the forest. Now you can beat all the trees that look at you wrong. Wow. Uh, I didn't quite expect it to get beaten so so profusely, but whatever. I'm gonna bring this back to the base because why not? It's an entire like gigantic. Can you beat trees with trees? Hold on a second. Oh. Oh, you sure can. It's the most powerful tree disassembling weapon in the entire game. I had no idea. It was this potent. So I had the best, the best laid plans of putting together, you know, my, my flamethrower doodle. But uh, instead, I'm gonna turn this sleeping mat into a bladed face slapper until I find where in the hell my freaking flamethrower has gone to. The shotgun's good though. Does just fine. I'm kinda curious to see how well the chiclet slapper works. Let. Oh my god! Oh, it's incredible! It's absolutely preposterous! I had no idea that its power was so grievous! Um, I think it's chewing through the knives and stuff pretty quick. I think that's supposed to be damage on our knives. See how the pattern's kind of like wobbling around? But I think that we're supposed to pretend that that is damage right there. Okay, chiclet beater versus tanky rage zombie thing. Who's coming out on top? Do you want to sleep soundly at night? Try the new Chiclet Beater Sleeper 35,000. The Chiclet Beater Sleeper allows you to cut even the most tenacious of zombies with its bladed, patented, sleeping chunklet system. Where did my Chiclet Beater go? My Chiclet Beater disappeared. It's gone. It was here just a moment ago, and now it disappeared into the ether. I was having so much fun with it. Was it because the, the floor mat actually died? I'm not really sure. Oh yes, my son. Oh, how long has it been? Okay, now it's time to put some fun together. All right, now there's no bullets to get in the way of this. So I have a plan. Behold. No. No. No, no, no. All right. So, I learned something. The flamethrower is ridiculously rare. I found it one time, it glitched out, I never saw it again. I found rocket launchers, I found C4, and we're gonna use both of them. I don't care. Now the C4 is remote, apparently. I don't want to use it for this wave, I kind of want to use it for the next wave when we really start getting a ton of zombies rolling in. So let me just kind of like mow on a few of these guys down, we'll get to the next wave and then we can try the C4 and the rocket launcher. Yes, dual wielding rocket launchers. Unfortunately, you can't hammer anything onto these because if you do, they too glitch out into the stratosphere never to be seen again. What you want to do is wait until you get close. You can pop, you can pop multiple heads that way. You pop all the heads. We, they call me Headley Poppins. There we go, right there. Hey, how about a twofer? Ready for it? Boom. Twofer. Guy has a pinwheel. Uppercut. This dude over here has a freaking, I don't know what to call that. Like a hipster beanie. Boom from below. Over to the side. Sideways. Long ways. Oh, I took his legs out. I didn't actually mean to do that. I wonder if you can throw knives at these creatures. Let's find out. Huh. <laughs> right in the back. Okay, let's go get some more weapons and then use our thingy do. What do you have for me? Lovely. Thi what in the Whoa, can hey, hi, all right, yep, sure. I don't know what half of that was, but I'll go ahead and grab what I can. Okay, so this is probably overkill, but I've got the C4 down there. Now we need the detonator for this, which is right over here. I should also get like a regular gun just to shoot stuff until the bad, like more of the bad guys come. What are you doing laying all over my stuff? What is this? Hold on, let me, what the hell happened? Like it decided to go right on top of all of my gear. All right, now we've got some. Ready? Here we go. I'm not gonna lie. I actually kind of expected more. Oh, what was that? I had, a, I had another beep beep. Can you, can you keep beep beeping it? Do I have, oh, does it fire all of it? No, it doesn't. There's one over there and that one hasn't gone yet. Where's my shotgun go? Back of my hand. Uh. 
We may have, uh, oh yeah. You know what? Hold on. Okay, that's worth it. The C4, I don't really believe was worth it. But the, uh, the grenade, the rocket launcher? Mother of God. Man, it really cleaned up the room too. I don't have to redecorate or anything. All right, wave three's completed. Uh, where's my other rocket? Oh, the rocket launcher got blasted over here, oh my god. Uh, this one has two rockets left. Oh crap. I don't really think that that gun was meant to be used like that, but quite frankly, when they're all on top of you, what are you gonna do? So as I know that this thing, crap, that this thing will disappear. Hold on. Let me see, because if I, if I do this, if I do this and put this on here and then I let go of this, it will disappear into the nether realm. I think that we can kind of do it this way. It's not really the hand-to-hand -hand weapon I want, but I think it'll be all right. We can actually probably put more knives off of this. Actually, Gray, what are you talking about? Knives? Just use a freaking golf club. Okay, we're already getting some critters coming in here. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this thing out because it saws through freaking zombies like a champ. I never thought I'd be wielding this combination. Um, I guess we'll see how good it is. What do we have, two rockets? That should be enough. This thing shoots a lot of bullets. Like a lot of bullets, really fast. I don't really think that we need quite this many bullets. It's kind of, it's probably overkill, but uh, I mean, so far so good. You know what? Let's use it. Here we go. Works pretty good when it works. I'm like, oh, wow. I'm really glad I put that knife there. There's a whole school of zombies rolling on in here. People. We are gonna, we are gonna need to dual wield these missile, these rocket launchers for sure. Look at this guy, he's all hopped up on beers, man. Did you see him rolling in here? Like super fast? I don't wanna use this yet. Maybe next next level, next level for sure because we're gonna have a ton more zombies next level. Okay, it's actually, it's actually getting a little, a little hectic in here. I'm not gonna lie. Again, not quite the way I, I would've wanted to use it, but it works. There we go. Crap, no! Bunch of whores. I wonder if I can hit him with my hammer. Well, we didn't really, again, it's so hard to find the damn flamethrower, but I want to show you guys a bunch of the new things that I've unlocked because I've been, man, I've been just going nuts over here, unlocking stuff and seeing how well it works. So you can see, out of the way, you can see we have this thing, which is a landmine. You go over there though, because you're not fun to use. We do have one of these which is a grenade launcher, which is legit. It holds four shots and it works pretty good. I don't know how quickly it loads. Actually, it loads pretty quick. How quick can you fire it? Oh yeah, works lovely. Now this thing, let's see how this works. This looks like a guided rocket. Wow, yeah. How many shots does it hold? Two? Two. So that's pretty slick. Now this was the this was the C4. I felt like there should have been a bigger boom. There's a decent boom, but it's not fantastic. We also have a landmine over here, which I don't think that we can trigger ourselves. And then here is our flamethrower. Now here's the issue I have. I wonder if I can make it happen here. I kind of wonder if there's some knives and stuff that I can yeah that I can attempt to to hook onto this thing because I'm gonna show you the issues I was having. So what I wanted to do is use another gun for a cross brace like this in here. And then like this, you put your, you put your knives on like that. Let's see, I think we've got some more over here. Yeah, sure do, right over here. You put one like this. Let's see, right about like that. All right, got more knives I would use it. Now this is what I call right here, this, this creation, I've named it. I call it the thousand degree knife because it legitimately is. Now normally, when I would pick this up, it would fly through the entire universe. But right here, it actually works out pretty good. So you've got your flamethrower, and then if you need to, you can move around to your uh, your rifle. So that's, that's the initial plan. Uh, that's not what I wanted to grab. It's a little bit weird because there's so many things on here. There we go. Yeah, from that to this. This is, this is totally inappropriate weapon right here. This is, this is, no, it's not loaded because it's not a bullet. But that's effectively how it would work. That's the thousand degree knife. I just have to get it to work in a game. Anyway, folks, that's gonna be it for this episode of Undead Development. We've gotten to the point where we've unlocked 
I th almost every weapon. I don't know if I have every single weapon, not the melee ones, but we've got like all the range and all the ordnance and all the landmines and stuff where if we could start finding this, we could really build up defenses. And I think that's the thing. A lot of the defenses are kind of like, you know, you need to get to the end goal to get all this cool mines and stuff that you can start laying outside and then you can really throw down the firepower. Out of the new weapons, what is your favorite weapon? I'm gonna see next episode if I can find it and use it. There's a lot of weapons though, so I'm gonna have to buy some of the upgrades for like more loot drops and stuff like that. That should help us out. Anyway, let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. If you wanna make the YouTube machine happy, go ahead and dual wield rocket launchers at it. Until the next time, folks, stay foxy and much love.